Shalom Malachim, first and foremost, I want to give all praises and all glory to the true and living power, which is Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rakak, Kwadash. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father. Yahweh Shai is the true name of His only begotten Son. And there is no God beside them. And I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who definitely rule well, who have taught us this truth. And honors and citations to the elect Akim, doing these works in sincerity and in truth. So I just did a lesson on this, on, you know, the muzzle, the muzzle from the Sunday school get downs. And I just want to, you know, add on. All right. We get a two part, I guess. But, uh, yeah, man, pretty much, you know, you taking this thing, this uh, agreement, it muzzles you as I went into in my last lesson. So, but uh, one thing that I went into was um em the embezzlement thing. And when you, as this guy here, as he said it, what was his name? Uh, Emmanuel Cleaver. How he said he's going to have the uh, meeting with several, with hundreds of uh, pretty much pork chop uh, Sunday uh, teachers. Governing over 10 million people. They're going to have the meeting about things they can and cannot say. So my thing is. What happens if you say. What you're not supposed to say. And. I'm going to see if I can find it. It was a video of a guy who. um He was speaking about his testimony. About how they. Uh. The I to the R to the you know what. On how they was intimidating him. You know. So much to the point where he was fearful and terrified for his life. You know so much to the point where he had to get rid of. Uh, that that agreement. So yeah anyway my thing is once you accept this. So really getting into it. Once you accept. This um this muzzle. Muzzlement. You then become. I mean, well, you then get free free money, ultimately, you're tax exempt. You don't have to pay any taxes. So, all that, all the donations that you get, you know, from your church, it is, it is now, ultimately, like, behind closed doors. You know, whereas if you're not tax exempt, then you have to pay the taxes. So, pretty much, all the money that you would be getting from... The church would go towards paying your taxes so that you could stay open. You know, everything would be like out of pocket like that. But then when you would take this agreement, don't worry about that. You know, don't worry about paying that. So now that money, all right, is behind closed doors, so to speak. Because now with the money that, that you get, and it's just like how... So like it for the long wind, but Lord willing to be edifying to the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Ashai in the exposing of these, uh, you know, of this uh, of these harlot houses. But uh, trying to get back my train of thought when um, yeah, pretty much yeah, we, yeah, when you begin to take it, and you get all that free money from not having to pay taxes, it you could be you could get a little overflow. To where you thinking, uh, uh, man, I could, I could use this and get this and that, but now you going against. Not only are you going against the Most High, well, yeah, you, you pretty much sold out, but now you're stuck. Now you're stuck. You know because when you know, say you go against your gag order and you teach things. That you're not supposed to, since you took that agreement. Um. Well, now they could look into you. And they could check your 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 credit lines. You know, they could check every all your possessions, things that you own, and they could look and see. Well, look, you, you're only uh, a damn, a, you're only a damn gym teacher. How are you in for your gym teacher slash uh, 
Sunday school teacher. How how did you how do you afford this car? How you afford that? How you afford? Oh well, I'm gonna deem you as embezzlement. So then they add up. They'll add up the total of uh, all the luxurious things that you bought, and they'll say, "Look, you embezzled uh, five hundred uh, uh, grand or such and such from from your church," and then you get locked up. So once you get a little taste of that bread, you make sure you're making sure that you ain't speaking against. Just like my man here, Emmanuel Cleaver said. You making sure you ain't speaking against what's been laid down. Cause if they dig into you, you'll be you'll be done. Oh yeah, console. Yeah, I was reading this. I was kind of reading up on this a little bit. It says uh using church money for personal reasons is stealing. Intention, rationale, or even promises to return funds does not change this fact. While it's easy to believe fraud could never happen in your church, the truth is that no church is invulnerable. I've personally seen how common it is among churches. Consider these cases. A church treasurer embezzled $850,000 by distributing funds to himself through a credit line. He had access to four officers' digital signatures. His crime led to eight years in prison and the requirement to pay the money back. You see that? So they can they can run little background checks on you, man, and, and see if you've been dipping in there if you violate your uh if you violate the uh you know your agreement so you know that that makes sure that uh they stay in line with it okay so but now like i, w I wanted to say because you're not supposed to use this money for your personal use now we at great millstone we give uh alms more so than tides, you know, we give, I would say, alms. I would say that fell under alms to the apostles and others of Great Millstone, you know, to the best of our ability. You know, we make sure we, you know, take care of them because they're elder, uh, older men. You know, they rule well. They're great examples, okay, to be diligent under the spirit power of Yahweh Bashem Al Shai. And we like to give them money personally. Like, this is personally for you. You know, this is personally for y'all, but then that's not to be, uh, 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 that's not to be in the same boat as literally paying tithes. Okay. You know, we got the brother and I can't, uh, so like a, you know, for being long winded, low willingness, it's all, uh, edifying and the exposing of, you know, these Sunday school get downs. But uh, yeah, for for just from my understanding, we got the brother Kahan and our camp, and he has control over the tides. Now, with those tides, that's for occasions, you know, circumstances, like the Passover's coming up, you know, so going to the tides to get, you know, the lamb or whatever, or just for just for an example, our brother may be in a jam, okay, or or we may need to do this, or we may may have may. Uh, have a trip may plan a trip right and we use the tie money for that so it's supposed to be things to take care of the body okay he's you know not saying of course he ever do that but uh he'll be going off if he if he dipped in the ties to, to buy you know some rims for himself so it's the same thing you know with the church when with, with the uh, plantation christianity when they uh given their their tides is not arms they're giving his tides to take care of where they dwell at man to take care of their uh you know that physical temple that church is not for him to uh go out and splurge <laughs> now no i want to play one more video but uh yeah but that's that's what they do man they take they take that and they splurge with it and use it for, for for personal reasons. Okay, especially when they take this uh the 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 muzzle. All right, and then they got so pretty much you have to be in league. The heads would have to be in league. You know the treasurer, the passer, 
that they all deserving of a little something extra. And they'll have to all keep their mouth closed about it. You know, and they'll be making hella bread so long as what? So long as they don't speak about certain things that can't be spoken about. So ultimately what? They sold out. And this is the story of when you got the 501c3. All right, so Salaki for the long win. Uh, I'll get a scripture real quick, finally. Well, this is uh, Job chapter 15, verse 34. For the congregation of hypocrites shall be desolate. And that's happening. The congregation all right, of hypocrites, all right, hypocrite meaning actors, because those Sunday get downs is nothing but actors. They're not uh, 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 really with the Lord. The Lord said that your thoughts are, uh, uh, you honor me with your lips, but your heart is far from me. So yeah, you sing and you get down and dance, but really your mind is far from the Lord. Why? Because the Lord said, if you love me, keep my commandments. So if you really love me, keep his commandments, but they don't do that. They don't keep the words of these, of the scriptures, man. They doing their own thing. So that makes them actors. It says, and fire shall consume the tabernacles of bribery, man. Okay, so they're the tabernacles of bribery. They were bribed into being muzzled. And within that being muzzled, it helps to lead the people astray. You know, and like my man Emmanuel Cleaver, Emmanuel Cleaver said, he's going to have a sit down with several hundred members that look, that oversee over 10 million people. So that's 10 million. That's a stronghold. That's 10 million people that's just sleep. You know, thanks to Mr. Lyndon B. Johnson, all right, who was a senator of Texas. All right, back in 1954, who was getting uh, crushed by his opposition for senator by a nonprofit organization, and he came up with a sellout treatment. All right. Well, look, if you take this, you know, if you take this muzzlement, don't worry about paying taxes, but just make sure you don't say this or that. All right. So, hey. More exposition through Shrimp Payabashmashaf, that's the word, on how you should leave these plantation Christianity Sunday school get downs, man. That's not the wave. It is in full expulsion. Low one was edifying with that. I'm going to say Shalom.